Hello everyone, Sean here once again. It is February 3rd, 2022, and we're back with another Daily Nerdle. As always, if you want to do this puzzle yourself before saying the answer here, feel free to pause the video and go to nerdlegame.com. That link is in the video description below. If you like this content, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. But for now, let's get into this puzzle. And I think I want to change things up just ever so slightly today. Uh, what we've been doing in the past is zero plus three times four. And what I realize is that this puzzle is never going to begin with a zero. So I'm just going to change it up just a tiny bit to do three times four uh, plus zero equals twelve. Um, so we have the same thing. We've got the one, the zero through four. Um, but if we end up having like a 10 or a 20 in these two positions here, uh, that zero might give us some information. So I think that that'll be a little more useful than having it at the very beginning. Uh, so what do we have today? Again, not a two digit puzzle. Do we think it's a one or a three digit answer today? Uh, one, two, and four, we got some information. We're not quite sure if there are any doubles as of yet. Um, let's test out, this will actually give us a couple of different pieces of information. This kind of just popped into my head. One plus one plus two equals oh four. Can't be the answer, but it might get us closer. Okay. So it does, the final answer is not four. I kind of wish we could have done that in a way that would have given us where the equals sign is, but alas, we don't, don't quite know yet. So, let me try something like 10 times 41, no, 10 times 4 equals 40. I want to see if it's three digits and I want to, let's see, if we do... I wonder how complicated these can get. 15 times... No. What am I thinking? What am I trying to accomplish here? That's what I need to figure out. Um, instead of just shooting in the dark. Let's figure out what we want to test next. Okay, I want to test if it's a three digit number. So, 100 plus 10 plus 90. No, interesting. So with the one at the beginning, it actually looks like it's going to be rather difficult to get to a, a um, three-digit number. Interesting. Okay, I guess using multiplication, though, it shouldn't be that hard. <clears throat> so something like... Um, 12 times... No, it's going to have to be higher numbers than that, isn't it? 15 times 6 equals 1. I should have thought about that before. No, I'm yeah, I'm seeing that it'll be com more complicated math. So what from what we've seen so far is that these have been relatively simple math. So to get up to triple digits by starting with a one seems like it will use a little more complicated math. So I'm tempted to think there's going to be a one digit number and it's going to be a combination of two um, two different operators that we haven't used yet. So we haven't, we've, we still have multiple uh, division and subtraction. So 10 divided by five minus four equals, oh no, we can't do minus four. 14 divided by two we have a two? Yes, we do. 14 divided by two, that'll make seven. Minus four equals three. How about that? Okay, it is a, it is a one digit number. We've got, we 
have a subtraction. Does this mean it's going to be two, two subtractions? 12 minus 4 minus, what haven't we tried yet? So that'll give us 8. Well, we have a 2 in there still. So 2 equals 6, is that right? Close. Close, but not quite. Um, so is there anything we haven't accounted for yet? 4 is there, 2 is there, 1 is there. No. Okay. So these are just going to be two brand new numbers that we don't have yet. So the, whatever this is, minus 6 equals this. Uh, so if this was... I think this has to be... The only way you can do that is by doing a 9 and a 15. So is that right? 15 minus 4 minus 2 equals 9. This will be our first five if this is it. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, because there's a double, quite obviously. I should have known that. 11 minus 4 minus 2 equals 5. That was a little bit close. Got down to the sixth one for the first time on this puzzle. A little difficult. There you are. 11 minus 4 minus 2 equals 5. Uh, yeah, I do think that there is something about this where it, the math is not going to end up being super complicated. It's not going to be one of those um, higher two-digit numbers multiplied together. Um, it looks like these are relatively easy uh, basic arithmetic. So, at least it has been so far. I can uh, very easily be wrong. Like I said, there's, no, there, there's some sort of dictionary behind this of what the possible... Um, answers can be, and I haven't taken a look at those yet. Um, but for now, I think we'll operate under that assumption. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me out significantly. And share the video with anyone you think would enjoy some daily mathy logic puzzles. That's all for now. We will see you all tomorrow.